Unemployment in the Valley is rising as more and more workers are being replaced by automation at warehouses in the area. Show us your triple X. Put your triple X on anything in any way and you can win 10,000 bucks. And I'm trying to deal with these serious matters as, as we all are. September is going to be a very difficult month. <laughs> Contestant. Yes. Come on, people. I need some energy here. Are you excited? Are you ready? Okay, well, here they are. Please welcome. We have Shelby Reynolds, Ellen Schneider, Josh Richards, and Clark Thompson. These are your four great WTYT billboard sitting contestants. They will live on this billboard in a tent for the chance to win a mobile home and $96,000. Okay, will the contestants please make their way to the ladder? So, Lehigh Valley, are we ready to get the great WTYT billboard sitting contest underway? Okay, contestants, let the ascent begin. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Wait, wait. There seems to be a problem with Junior, folks. Uh... Everyone in this city is chasing the American dream thinking, hey, why not me? What do you expect with only three news outlets in Allentown? All of the news to be reported? And there's been some debate as to the size of Allentown. According to the latest census reports, we have over 118,000 people living in our city who make on average $16,282 per year. Now that's about as much as other cities. Hey, Henry, can you come in here for a second? Henry! What's up, boss man? Don't call me that, please. Well, you are. 
You'll get used to it. Who runs the books? Well, your dad hired me to, but never handed over the reins. I just handle our sales accounts, promotions, marketing, and operations. That's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> but, I mean, there's no P&L or something like that? If there is, I never saw one. Hmm. I mean, there were a lot of days your dad really struggled, but he always found a way to keep the station alive. So there's no one here that knows the financial status of the station? Mm, Jezebel might. She's been here the longest. But can you go get her for a second? She's on air for another two hours. How am I supposed to run a radio station when I don't know anything about it? Come on. Radio's in your blood. No, no, I know nothing about the radio business. And neither did your dad. He just went with his gut. And in your guts is his DNA. Look, I don't know what to say, but you can do this. Yeah, I gotta find a way to save his legacy. And all of us here want that too. Where do we start? Welcome. Joining us today is Casey Lindyweiler. He's the creator of the WTYT Billboard Sitting Contest and the owner of the WTYT radio station. Welcome, Casey. <laughs> Casey, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about your background first. Well, I inherited the station from my father who passed away a few months ago. And before that, I was a cartoonist living in Santa Monica. And your station has seen a lot of platform changes over the years, hasn't it? Yeah, my father liked to move with the times. And now you're an AM station playing alternative music. Yeah, he felt that AM programming was moving more towards the alternative crowd, so he thought, you know, stick with them. They're, they're the loyal fans. What time is it? 3.45. Wow. It's really this bad. Yeah. I had no idea. And this was his life. That's what he wanted. Look, let's get some sleep and come up with a plan. Come back at this in the morning, okay? I can't sleep. But this girl needs to. Well, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. No problem. Get some sleep, boss man. You're gonna need it. Don't call me that. His dad never made us cry. Hey, you guys. This is gonna be fun. Hey, all right. All right, thanks for coming down. I appreciate you guys meeting with me. I've been trying to get everything together since my dad passed away. And I'm not really sure how he kept this place going for as long as he did, you know? Basically, I have about two months savings to keep this place going. And what I'm thinking is we gotta raise the rates and bring in the income, so. Don't we need better ratings to be able to do that? Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys are the professionals. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing here, so if, if you have any ideas. Look, do we, do we even have any money for like a promotional thing? You know, I'm not sure people still know we exist. Uh, lots of stations do it to get their brand out there. You sponsor some shows. How or... much would that cost? couple thousand. Yeah, we could do a contest. Okay, what kind of contest? I don't know. Um, you know, something that's memorable. Hey, 
Hey, do we still own that billboard? I have no idea. Wait, what? We own a billboard? You don't know about the billboard? No. No. Shit, my dad bought this billboard. Build forts on it, and whatever. Go find out if we still own the billboard. Okay. okay it's, it's on the Rothrock parking lot. Yep, you got it, both man. I got it. We're gonna hold a billboard sitting contest. What? Yeah. Three, four people living on a billboard to win a prize. That is the stupidest. Dude. Craziest idea I've ever heard. Okay, maybe it's crazy, but maybe it's crazy enough to get people to tune in and save our jobs. Okay, so it would be like reality TV, but on the radio. Exactly, something like that. It's pretty smart, that could work. Thank you. No, this is it. This is this is perfect, okay? It, it could change radio. Look. Oh, oh, slow down, Wells. Or so Wells. Yes, I know. Anyway, it's gonna be a logistical nightmare. I mean, a really big logistical nightmare, but I don't have anything going on. So you're in. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yep, you are the proud owner of a billboard. Yes! <laughs> We're doing it. Okay, we're gonna make this all American, inspirational, and, you know, uh, like the fight for independence, independent radio. Sure. I, I guess it's time to break out the tricorn hats. WTMK960, your only alternative rock AM station. Thanks for coming out today. It's great to see so many smiling faces out there. I deeply appreciate all of the kind words you sent me about the passing of my father. It's really nice to feel the support of your community. <laughs> well, as I look around today at the Lehigh Valley, it's hard to not notice all of the revitalization that's taking place. Old mills being repurposed as tourist attractions and cultural centers. Well, we t here at WTYT Want to, uh, want to rise from the ashes of our past and become a phoenix of opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to announce the great WTYT 960 Billboard Sitting Contest. This will be a co- Pig squeaked out another victory against the plot. Where four lucky people will live on a billboard until only one remains. Uh, to become a contestant, all you need to do is create a profile and a video on WTYT960.com and the most votes you get, uh, the person with the most votes uh, will become our contestants. Uh, let's see, we'll be, accepting, we'll be accepting submissions starting immediately and the contest starts on September 1st. So thanks again for coming. Uh, are there any questions? This is just some scheme to drum up listeners. Look. We're trying to save the only remaining independent radio station in the Lehigh Valley. And at the same time, create some great opportunities for people. How? Well, we're going to be giving out prizes uh, to the, the remaining person. Like what? Like $960,000 and a brand new mobile home. Let me get this straight. Your AM station. Alternative rock AM station. Your alternative rock AM station is hosting a billboard sending contest where people can win a mobile home and $960,000? That's exactly correct. I couldn't have said it better myself. Can I enter? Yeah, of course. Just create a profile on WTYT960.com and, and get your votes in. Why this sort of contest? We want to make radio fun again. You know, and, and we want to give a couple people hope and... and you know, the uh, opportunity to get ahead. Isn't that what the American dream is all about, right? Anyway, th thank you guys for coming out. Really appreciate it. Okay, so you heard it here first, folks. This station, WTYT 960, is giving you, the listeners, the opportunity of a lifetime. And what's the response been from the public about the contest so far? Um, well, you know, I always feel like you're going to have people who love what you do and others that don't, but... Overall, it's been really positive. This is the morning run. $960,000? Who 
Who's doing that? That's a radio station, right? Right. What kind of station is it? Beats me. Never even heard of it. Oh, they're an AM station. Who oh. listens to AM? Imagine <laughs> what we could do with that prize money. Yeah. Oh. What would you do with it? It's a contest where four lucky people will live on a billboard until only one remains. Uh, to become a contestant, all you need to, to do is create a profile. And... Why would I do something like that? Well, haven't you heard about the big contest? No. Well, there's a contest going on, and if you're the last one on the billboard, now, you tomorrow, win Tomorrow, did you read the paper this morning? And why would I? Well, it seems our so-called competition has dreamt up a stupid contest to try and get our listeners to tune in to their station. Oh, now what? Well, yeah. These bozos over at WTYT are holding a billboard squatting contest. Are you kidding? Yeah, they're trying to get four bird brains to live on a billboard. Have you seen this? No, but I heard about it. Let me guess, on one of our stations. Everyone's talking about it. For the last time, you only mention things we're paid to mention. We only promote things we are paid to promote. This stops now, unless you can show me a check for Linda Wire. My air costs money today. What has been your favorite Triple X sighting so far? I was just trying to be radio. You were trying to be radio? I was trying to be radio by saying 960,000, you know, like our call letters, 96,000. Not 960,000. Yeah, but normal That's... people don't understand that. You're what are we going to do? We might as well just quit right now. This hey, is insane. I made some calls. Hey, Junior. Servers are down. Like I was going to say, news about the contest is spreading. We hit the Philly and the New York pubs. This may break national. Yeah, that's great and everything, but how are we going to pay for this, you guys? We're in the ratings basement right now. And we're charging, what, like 20 bucks a spot? Look, so we add that all up, what do we get? We get, we get like, oof. equals like, what, like 300 and... Chill, okay? Just give it some time, let's just ride this out and see what happens. All of this attention is bound to drive up ratings. And then we can increase our rates. Give it some time, don't make any official statements, and just ride the buzz. Riding the buzz, that's the, the great punchline. Jezebel, you've actually been here longer than anybody. What, what would my dad do? He Tell would me. ride the buzz, and he would use the press to his advantage, and he would ignore the pile of bills on his desk. So, like father, like son. Oh, Sounds like you know, it's such a great advice. So, I can't even talk to the press. How are we gonna promote this, you guys? Give me, give me something. You won't need to. Is promote the real price on the station, and a week before the contest, make a correction to the press. Oh, so I lied to the press. That's that's the, that's the genius idea right now. Oh, lie wait, to the press. dude, wait, hold on. It's not lying. The press screwed up. We didn't. We'll correct it, and it will be fine. God, don't you know anything? When they find out that we don't have a million dollars, for instance, <laughs> what are the contestants going to do? They're going to they're going to no kill one's gonna me. They're going to murder you, and people will still want to be a part of this. Trust me. But why is there nothing happening in that booth right now? God damn it! Dead air kills radio, Ronnie! Sorry about that, folks. Boss man needed some stroking. I'm thinking about entering that billboard contest. Yeah, me too. We should do it together. Is your life really that bad that you would want to live on a billboard? Call into the station if you want to talk about it. Hey, can I trade this in for 10 more? God's green earth would enter a billboard sitting contest. That's what I do, and I can be on that billboard, and I will win that contest. There's no one out there that'll beat me. I guarantee you won't be disappointed, because hey, that's what I am. I am a contest winner. Hey, I'm Emily. I really want to be a billboard sitting contestant, just simply because I love reality.
this is the reason why I should be on the billboard. First of all, I'm a pro sitter. Now you don't get this petite figure by not being able to sit. Plus, I'm a survivalist. Listen, I don't want to be on that field. I mean, you always get all the attention. Uh, besides, you know, cunts, that's a nice thing. And if it runs longer, then I'll just take a sabbatical. This is going to be absolutely incredible. I want you to pick me. I'll drink my own urine. That's right. I'll drink pee. Out of a cup, out of my hand, I don't care. I think people would vote for me. Because I'm just a little bit crazier than the rest of the world, so that's entertaining, right? Also, I'm a really good sitter. In high school, I was voted most likely to entertain herself on a deserted island, and that's a true story. Well, for Josh Richards Jr. Josh, or however it's gonna come up there. Because you gotta help me. You're my only hope. And you all know I can claim that shit, right? So what I want you to do. Clark! So what, what? What do you do in I, my room again? I was Can I just get some privacy, please? I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Don't you think? There's been a lot of excitement throughout the valley as a local radio station is about to announce the four contestants in their billboard sitting contest. News 13's Pat Stevens is live in Allentown outside the station. I'm here outside the WTYT 960 offices and the buzz throughout the valley has been deafening. Hundreds of people here waiting to see if they're lucky enough to become a contestant, to live on the billboard and to win $96,000 and to mobile home. I thought it was a $960,000 prize. Station spokeswoman Henry Lamar corrected me saying there was a bit of confusion and that station owner Casey Lindweiler was trying to sound more radio by saying that the prize was $960,000. The prize forever stays on the billboard the longest is $96,000 and a mobile home. The four people who will be in the WTYT 960 billboard sitting contest starting on September 1st in the Ross Rock Motor Sales lot are from Forney, Texas, Shelby Reynolds. Cuts down Pennsylvania native Josh Richards Jr. Spritz in the eggs. From Morristown, New Jersey, Clark Thompson. And a lady from down the Delaware in Bucks County, Ellen Snyder. These are your four billboard sitters. Congratulations to you all. We're all excited to see what happens. Mayor? Hi, Patty. What can I do for you? Are you really going to let WTYT have this little billboard sit without a zoning permit? There's not even a record of Lindy Weiler even applying for this. It's just a little contest. Yeah, well, he's breaking the law. Here. And it would be so easy to have your competitor on all of our stations leading up to November. So I suggest if you want to get reelected, look into it. And how's it going so far? Give us a little status update. Yeah, well, we started on September 1st. Uh, with four contestants. It seems that Junior's in a bit of a pickle, you if you will. Uh, hey, everybody! Woo! And thanks for coming out and supporting us. We really appreciate it. Um, well, I got some strange news right now. Um, turns out I neglected to get a permit for this contest. Uh, I mean, who would have known that, you know, you had to get a permit to get people to live on private property? It seems crazy to me. Anyway, um, I'm going to say screw them. <laughs> Let them find us. Junior, that's the way to keep that independent spirit alive. Fight the man who's trying to keep you down. I'm proud of you, boy. Real proud of you. So, uh, where was I? Seven! That's right. Seven, seven six, six, five, five four, three, two, one! There you go, folks. This is officially the beginning of the great WTYT.
was just mad because you didn't think of it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it was just the beginning, right? Yeah, we gotta keep this up now. Are you kidding me? Yo, I don't think we got a bathroom up here. I really gotta go. For real? I think I had too much coffee this morning. Is Mr. Casey still here? Mr. Lindeweiler. Yo, how's we supposed to drop a deuce up here if we ain't got a toilet? Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna bring it up, um, this afternoon. Hey, we don't bring toilets. Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm gonna go grab one right now. I'll be right back, okay? Like, like, make it quick, man. All right. Nice work on the zoning thing. I'd give him a week. The pooper's here. Great, that's awesome. Hey, uh, are, are, are you cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'm headed out. job, Jerry lost his. We was living out of my 74 Cadillac DeVille. And they came to get Emmy. Hey guys. Mr. Lindeweiler. Hey, call me Casey, please. Uh, Mr. Casey, sir, uh, when do we eat? Uh, well, the pizza guy comes at around 11 o'clock every day. What, you didn't bring any food up with you? No, um, no. I'm sorry, man, I, I didn't bring anything for you. No, rules is rules. This is a contest. You guys aren't going to share your food with him? It's a competition, man. All right, we'll get some sleep, Josh. There'll be pizza in the morning, all right? Hmm. I don't think I can finish it all, though. so-called competition. Nice knowing ya. Having a starving artist, a wannabe, a hick, and a stroke victim up on a billboard? Imagine the stimulating conversation to be had there. Great work. You got two ladies here and me starving, and you gonna get us in things like that. Maya? Look down. Savvy 
you been watching the contest? No, the contest. This contest. Take a look. He's hanging. What is? Hey, he's got a couple of bucks to give me some food. I'm freaking starving. I knew I was forgetting something. I only got a two bucks left. I was gonna buy Emmy an ice cream with it. Just get her an ice cream then. I'll be all right. I'm here live at the WTYT Billboard Sitting Contest, checking in on contestants who have made it one full week sitting on the billboard. This has been a firestorm for station owner Casey Lindyweiler, who is here with me now. Casey, so how does it feel to have one full week down? Uh, well, it feels great. You know, we feel like we've got a really positive response, thanks to all the listeners out there. And uh, but yeah, you should probably ask the contestants. We love you, Casey! Oh, oh my gosh, she's so cute! Well, <laughs> quite the fan favorite. <laughs> What do you plan on doing about the city trying to shut you down because you don't have the appropriate zoning permits? Well, I say, you know, let them fine us. I mean, we're trying to do something for the community. Mm -hmm. You know, and if somebody down at City Hall thinks that, you know, we violated some sort of archaic zoning code law or something like that, you know, bring it on. We've received some reports that Shelby is pregnant up there. Um, yeah, there, there was an argument about that. Were you providing her with the RU486? What? The morning after pill. Did you provide it for her? No. You got a sec? Yeah, what's up? The cool trends? Yeah. We're up. Really? One point. Second to last. One point? We did all of that press and we're up one point? The Hindi channel is up on us. I, I didn't even know there was that many Indians in the valley. We're improving. These are generally weeks behind. Hello? Hey, Mayor, this is Patty over at Free Channel. Why are those four people up on the billboard? I thought we had an agreement. What can I do if he's ignoring the law? You throw him in jail? How will that look? I'm in the middle of a re-election campaign. He has the community support. Yeah, well, remember where your support and your promotion come from. We can easily blackball you. This is Goss coming at you live from the Billboard Sitting Contest. Congratulations, Josh, your WXEN. Show us your Triple X winner. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm super psyched. Finally. I'm a winner, and this is just a start. You'll, you'll see. Is that on? Hey, Emmy! I love you! <laughs> hey, Donna! I'm at it! I'm gonna be a winner! Woo! Dude, WXEN is conducting interviews with our contestants. So what? So, Josh, he just won their stupid little contest with that stunning pulled. Well, good for him. But it was at our expense. What do you want me to do about it? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe do something. Do anything. I can't disqualify him. If I disqualify him, we'll look like pussies. Come on. You can't disqualify him? Well, for your information, he's wearing a WXEN t-shirt on our billboard right now. It's press, though. It's good press. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You're a real jerk off, you know that? Real jerk off. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm calling about Clark, a billboard contestant. He carried a guitar up there with him when he went up in the billboard and it wasn't in his backpack. They're allowed to have other stuff up there. There's a picture in the Gazette that clearly shows him carrying up a guitar with him when he went up there. And on your website, it states that you can only take up there what you can fit into your backpack. Where are you? Yo. Do you have a contestant that follow the rules? Shouldn't you I don't know qualified? about that. I'm going to have to look into that, okay? Thank Somebody you. Somebody just called in saying that Clark carried a guitar up that wasn't in his backpack. <sighs> Great, let's get him down. How should we do it? Easiest way possible. Well, should we call the press or should we just do it? Just do it. Let's create some news. All right, sir. We're going to the billboard. It's kind of messed up. Oh my God! Hi, Casey. Hey guys. What are you just doing up here? What's up, man? What can I do for you? Well, I hate to do this to you, but uh, disqualified. Really? Yeah. Yeah, on your mind. I've done nothing. You Why? gotta pack up your stuff. Okay. Yep. Get it dude, going. Oh, dude, step up. I haven't done anything. Are you gonna make a big deal about this? Yeah, he's yeah, gonna be kicking and screaming like a little girl. <laughs> dude, you'll see. Dude, what, dude, what did I do? I was like, you don't know. You can't no. have your guitar up here with you. Yeah, so? It wasn't what? in your backpack. It's against the rules. <laughs> you busted for that. that. I thought it was because he was selling drugs. What? what? Whatever, dude. It's me and two girls. I'm gonna win, dude. But you did know that one of the contestants was selling drugs up on the billboard. 
Well, no, we found that out after he was disqualified. We were completely... But weren't you filming the entire time? No, actually. We have a solar-powered video feed that's a bit shoddy. So. so you missed that you had a drug dealer on the billboard. Yeah, unfortunately, we did. We delivered a cease and desist letter to Mr. Lindy Waller on September 1st, the day that he started his billboard sitting contest because he did not apply for the appropriate zoning permits. He decided to ignore the law, and now we have no choice but to put an end to his contest. Police Chief McCleary and the fire department will be assisting in getting the contestants down from the billboard by the end of day. Thank you very much for being here. What will WTYT's responsibility be to the contestants if you're ending the contest? I don't know uh, the rules to his contest. I simply know the laws of the city. Which zoning law is he breaking? Lindy Waller did not apply for a permit. Will he be splitting the prize money among the three remaining contestants? You'll have to ask him after we get them done. What permit would he have needed? Who will get the mobile home? I don't know. You'll have to take that up with uh, Mr. Lindy Waller. Are you Thank you. Oh, Janet, would you let it go? I mean, if he continues to disregard the law, we're just going to have to cut him off. What law is Mr. Lindewiler breaking? He didn't go before the zoning committee to inquire whether or not he could hold his contest. That wasn't my question. What law exactly is he breaking? Uh, Cindy, can you help me with this one? Well, the zoning law states that no one can reside in a commercially zoned property. What do you mean in? There's squatter's rights, correct? Or every homeless person that could be arrested according to your law. Oh, so if the property owner doesn't ask them to leave, they're allowed to reside there. Okay, Mayor. When did Mr. Lindy Weiler ask you or the authorities to remove the contestants from the contest he created? Mayor? Oh, oh okay, Janet. You got me against the ropes. And then the final round at that. I mean, they, there should be some compromise. If, uh... If Linda Willie cuts the electricity to all the contestants and stops feeding them, then they can stay. And that way, according to your own research, they would indeed be squatters and thus could remain. So you want them to starve? Sometimes it takes a community. You need to support one another. Oh, shit. What? Read this. What's this? Now they're cutting our electricity. And we can't feed the contestants or they're going to shut us down. What? Why would they do this? That means the feeds are going to go down. How am I going to know what's going on? Casey, the, the monitors are solar powered. Just give me a second. I can spin this. No, we can't spin this. This is insane. We're we going to starve these people? Um, we have lawyers here from the city that need to see you now. I'll handle it. What did you do? Now it's nice of you to show saying, up. You gotta stop feeding What happened us? to electricity? Guys, listen. Yeah, I got some bad news. The city is not gonna let me give you guys anything. What? Why well, he's gotta stop now? Well, it turns out I was supposed to get some sort of permit from the zoning committee or something to let you guys live up here. You have to get down? No, 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 no. It's just that I can't, you know, feed you guys or give you water anymore. Can you be a little more specific? 
Well, it's kind of complicated, honestly. Well, we're not going nowhere. You got all the time in the world to explain. Well, it was explained to me like this. You guys can stay up there because I own the billboard, right? The only thing is I got to treat you guys like your squatters, you know, like your homeless people. So, I mean, as long as I'm okay with it, which obviously I'm fine, you can stay up there as long as you want. It's just that I can't provide for you or I'm breaking the law. But we're still in the contest. You know, WXEN provides for me more than you do. Look, Josh, I didn't plan this, okay? This wasn't my doing. You still got a lot of friends, do you? It's the law, okay? What do you want me to do about it? Okay, how am I supposed to communicate with people if I ain't got a phone? Well, I mean, I can bring you mail, you know? Are you serious? Are you thinking about getting down? Hell no! Everybody just calm down, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the community to provide for you, you know? As long as it's not me, then it's not breaking the law. And everybody loves you guys, so it's gonna be easy. This doesn't even make sense. Look, if you just want us all to get down, then you gotta give us each a prize. No, 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 no. I don't want you to get down. That's the last thing I want you to do, okay? I mean, who's gonna win the 96K? I am. A fat chance. We'll see. Hey, I'm gonna work it out, okay? Nobody's starving up there. Yeah, okay. We could create a contest like a hungry job to support them. Felt the truck or something. Yeah, but how do we get the contestants food if we can't even give it to them? There's a fine line between us being in need and actually doing something useful for the contestants. What if we had a contest on social media and people go down and they take selfies with the contestants and whoever gets the most likes or retweets wins something? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because people will be forced to spread the word for us and it will be helping the contestants. Yeah, we could have like a flashy hashtag or something. I don't know. Sure, but what do they win? That's right, bring the great WTYT 960 Billboard sitting contestants a snack. Take a selfie at the billboard with the hashtag support the WTYT 960 Billboard sitters. Share it across social media, and you could win a Kelsey Billboard survival kit. 960. 960. Your only alternative rock AM station. Hey, Jezebel. Yeah, what's up? Can you come in here for a second? Yeah, what's going on? Here, close the door. What's up? Can you have a seat? Is everything okay? Yeah. Are you getting fired? No, no, are you kidding me? No. Okay, then why am I here? All right. Actually, I have a really interesting question. How do the advertisers know when their spots are being aired? I just don't know this stuff. It's right here. We send this at the end of somebody's media buyout. This is their receipt, and they have the exact time that their spot was aired. It's very simple. Oh, cool. So we tell them. Yes. Ah, cool. Wait, yeah. why? No, I'm just, I'm just learning this stuff. I'm just trying to figure out. Well, um, I've got to go on air now. Yes. So Sorry. It's been something. Just one more question, though. Who, who at the station does the scheduling for the, for the ad advertisers? JC. Okay? Have a great show. You look great. Thanks a lot, man. What can I do you for? Have you seen what's been going on up on the billboard? No, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Every time I've checked, their feed is down. And I just don't have enough time in my hands to stay glued to my phone just in case we've had enough sunlight to power their feed. <laughs> or is it a hamster in a wheel that they use over there? Is that, is that how they do it? Why do you gotta be like that, man? Like what? You're the one that wants me to talk about our competition. I believe in what you're trying to do, man. I do. Thank you. Appreciate that. It hasn't been easy, that's for sure. <laughs> Look, there's no easy way to do this. 
I gotta let you go. We just can't keep you on the payroll anymore, if you understand. The station's all I got, man. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'll give you a recommendation wherever you wanna go, all right? Card was declined. Seriously? I'll just use the ATM. I'm sure. Thank you. Talk to me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Casey! Casey! No! Oh god! Casey! Two contestants left? Well, Ellen was the next contestant to to come down. Um, she had to leave because of for medical reasons. But I'm really proud of her for staying up there as long as she did. You know, she's a real testament to what the disabled are capable of. Meaning? Just that people probably wouldn't have thought she would have lasted as long as she did. Doesn't that sound a little discriminatory? Did you do all this just for ratings? No. Well, it's a contest, so, you know, it's definitely... So all of this... Was a charade, just trying to make a buck? No, absolutely not. Um, I wanted to provide something for the community, you know, and, and give somebody the opportunity to get ahead, which I think is pretty important right now, and as, as well as save the last independent radio station in Lehigh Valley. Okay, so this is about community, not about playing with people's lives. How is she? How's Ellen? Would you mind standing on that end of the billboard, please? Make for a better shot. Yeah, I mind. Any word on Ellen? We're here at the foot of the WTYT 960 billboard. A tragedy struck this afternoon. One of the contestants, Ellen Snyder, was rushed to the hospital after suffering from severe dehydration. The local authorities tried to shut it down after the station didn't get appropriate zoning approval. But the station owner, Lindsay found a loophole around the law. Now we've learned that the station isn't providing food, water, or health care for their participants, preying on the community to help them finish this contest just so the station can profit. To make matters worse, it was a Rothrock customer who came to the aid of Miss Snyder. The two remaining contestants on the board didn't want to risk getting disqualified for saving her life. This Billboard sitting contest is an awful spectacle of the human condition. Pitting people against one another. Have you supplied any medical care to these contestants? They've been up there an awfully long time. Uh, it's only been four months, but you know we're certainly looking out um, for their well-being, their health. Really? I mean, didn't Ellen Snyder come down because of dehydration? Well, 
originally we were providing them with water and food. It was actually the city that stopped allowing us from hmm. doing that. And why is that? Well, they there was some silly zoning code law. Hey! No. The book is out. Yeah? We're number two. Yes! <laughs> Did you see the book? No, not yet. You've got to be kidding me. See for yourself. WXCN is still number one. Did you see this coming? The last trends I pulled about a month ago, noted they moved up one spot to second last. It's just an anomaly. Let's hope so. They're an AM station. No shit. Corporate's gonna kill me. In all my years in radio, I have never seen a station move up this fast. If we don't do something, they'll overtake WXCN. What the hell is he doing? Paying people to tune in? Now that we know we have an audience, we should get Josh and Shelby on air saying how much they love the contest. Hey, what if we got Josh and Shelby some tablets? You know? Great idea, but how are they gonna charge them? Well, we could pick them up at night, you know? Charge them, drop them back off in the morning. You're a genius! They'll use that most social media. Who would have thought the Manuelers kid could run a radio station? Nobody. Maybe we should try and get the kid, though, huh? It won't last that much longer. Well, let's hope not. But maybe we can push him a little. Oh, wait, though. We gotta just keep this up now. We didn't just, like, succeed. We gotta actually, like, get the prize. <laughs> so that we can stay at the station. You know what I mean? All right. And we will. Keep on doing you're doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Either. You made it, huh? Congratulations. Hey, thanks. Hey, brought you guys a couple of uh, tablets. I figured, you know, you could send them down to me at night and I'll charge them up and I'll bring them back to you in the morning. Hoist them up. Hey, well, I put a couple of Twitter accounts on there for you guys. You know, I figure you can keep in contact with your fans and your friends, you know? Oh, I get it. These are so we can promote the radio station. Don't you think it's enough that we're up here, Casey? Really? Come on, that's bullshit. Hey, I don't care what you think. I want mine. No, look, I was just thinking you can, you know, keep in touch with your family. That's all. You do whatever you want with them, Shelby. I mean, they're just presents, okay? I've been thinking about your business. Yeah? You make money selling air, don't you? Well, yeah, I mean, airtime, but yeah, something like that. Sounds like a racket. We got to have people tune in for us to be, you know, successful. So I mean, we've been in the ratings basement forever. It's not like we're, come on. Uh, you guys must be hungry, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, I got to figure a way to get you guys some food without anybody knowing about it. We ain't going to tell nobody. Is we Shelby? All right, I'll be back in an hour. I'll get you guys some. Yeah, hi, is this Henry Lamar? It is. Who is this? I think this patio over at Free Channel. Mr. Merrick would like to set up a lunch date with Mr. Lindy Weiler. Why? I'm not really sure why. Well, I'll see if he's available. And I'll call you at the station if he is, okay? You got the beer on there too? Okay. Yep. Right, there should be cash on there. I got this pending frog teeth, but it's too Give it a shot. Alright. This looks beautiful, man. Great room. Good to go. Find your pen.
I feel like I recognize you. Is that possible? Seen you around? I'm not sure. I don't get around these parts much. Hmm. Well, don't come to me. You know, you've done an awfully good job at WTYT, son. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a lot of hard work. Hard work and perseverance pays off, my man. Sure does. Yes, sir. I like Clarence's taste. Yes, sir. The bottle of Chateau Portel. VGS Chardonnay, 2013. VGS. Claire, you know what VGS stands for? No. Very good shit. But taste it anyway, just to make sure it was stored properly. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, that's... That's great. It's my first time trying shit. Why am I here? I have an offer for you. What is this? Look inside. We'd like to buy your station. I'm sorry, sir. It's not for sale. <laughs> Kid. That's the most anyone will ever pay you for a station in this market. You could retire. Go back to your comic book shit. Well, no offense, Mr. Merrick, was it? But you can go screw yourself. I own the only independent station left in this town, and I would rather run it into the ground than let you buy my father's station. And although my father wasn't as good a businessman as yourself. He was a far better man than you and I will ever be. So why don't you take your check and wipe your ass with it? How much did he offer you? Three million dollars. Casey, are you serious? Yeah. And what did you say? I told him to go wipe his ass with his check. But I own the only independent station left in this town, and I'm gonna keep it that way. You have some serious balls. So stupid. This weekend is trick or treat for all the little kitties in the valley, and the big Allentown Halloween parade is this Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, what are you going to wear as you pelt the crowd with dum dums? I was thinking of a sexy scarecrow. Yeah? How, how sexy? Sexy enough to land the station in trouble. Is this a rehash of the stunt you pulled for our Triple X contest that got us in hot water with Rick Merrick? Deep down, you know he liked what he saw. Well, I'm sure he did. Speaking of our Triple X contest, I wonder how our big winner Josh Richards is doing over at the Billboard Squad. Anyone been by lately? Beats me. Josh just keeps begging for food. Is the parade route going anywhere near the uh, Billboard Squad? Mm, let me check. No. Looks like another day without food for the WTYT billboard squatters. Hey, how you guys doing? Why don't you guys some burgers? You know, I've been thinking. How do we know you got the money to pay us? <laughs> what do you mean? Of course we got the money. You said you was in the ratings basement. You show me some bank statements that shows me that you got the money to pay us. And if you've got money, I'll stay. But if you don't, I'm getting down. All right. Hey, but what you guys don't know about is we've been number two in the ratings for like two months. We're doing great. Everybody loves you guys. Show me the proof. What about the tablets I gave you guys, right? You lower them down. I'll, I'll charge them up for you. I don't want anything to do with that. They're, they're, they're nasty people saying nasty things about us. They don't even know what us. What are they saying? You don't even want to know. Hey, come on, it's the internet. They got trolls and haters. Don't worry about it. I didn't sign up for any of that stuff. What if Miami sees that? You're living on a billboard. Show me the proof. I will. I will.
You feel powerful controlling the destiny of others? No, not at all. I mean, the contestants are free to quit at any, at any, at any time. But are they? I mean, one's a starving artist and the other can't even provide for his own children. But Josh only has one child and I'm pretty sure he's, he's doing okay. Uh, we've heard that his wife's pregnant. I'll be. Mr. Casey, you're almost a millionaire. Well, my father took care of me. And I'm gonna do the same for Miami. What's up? How much time do they really spend? We're down. How's that even possible? Where are we at? We're fit. We've been doing all this cool stuff, getting people to hashtag and all that jazz. Living on a billboard is boring. It's like watching grass grow. What do I do? Well, I notice that every time something crazy or something exciting, something wild happens, that listenership seems to spike. The heavily contested mayoral race in Allentown is heating up after a knockdown debate last night. Contender Elaine DeBella seems to have knocked Mayor Johnson off his perch at City Hall after a number of exchanges regarding WTYT's billboard sitting contest and the mayor's ill handling of the contest. Why is the contest allowed to continue? Why was it even allowed to start in the first place? Sounds like the mayor is deep into WTYT's pockets. Come back here, you coward! Let me tell you folks, we are shocked and outraged that some people would put the lives of our contestants in jeopardy, while others would deface our billboard.
you've become a human spectacle more fitted for the Lehigh Valley Zoo than a radio contest. At least the zoo would feed them. The host of the billboard contest, Casey Slinda whatever, should be ashamed of himself for profiting off people who lack the brain power to make a decent decision. I wonder how much money he's made not providing for his contestants. Is this some sort of scheme with the city so he can profit? It smells like something fishy going on. Is collusion the new thing? I would love to hear the thoughts of our listeners. And Free Channel has gone negative, trying to get the public to turn against us. So now they're going at us? Yeah. But how are they getting their information? Josh and Shelby's social media. All right, let's go back at them. Let's go back at them. They have 20 times more listenership than we do. We have 11 stations to our one. Well, let's get these tablets out of these stupid contestants' hands, all right? We need to control the information. Seriously? Do you hear yourself? If, Are you listening to yourself? Yes, I'm listening to myself. Find some money. I'm doing my job. What are you doing? You know, I'm going to step away from you before I say something I'm going to regret. You already did. Good job. You're great at that. To one of them, Casey. I'm sorry, right? This job is my life. It's a paycheck. I have one more thing I can do. What do you got? I have some friends at NSN. Call them up. A billboard sitting contest has cast a spotlight on what used to be a poor, depressed town in search of an identity that was crushed by a song. It has become a tale of two cities, the haves and the have-nots. Independent radio against corporate radio, building community and being a lone wolf. Late this past summer, a struggling entrepreneur, E.C. Linda Weiler, began a contest where four people would live on a catwalk in front of a billboard to win $96,000 and a mobile home. 75 days later... I'm sure that you've reaped considerable benefits and profits from this No, host. absolutely not. That's, that couldn't be farther from the truth. You know, when I inherited this station, it was drowning in debt. So we're still just scraping by. And all of this just to win a mobile home? Yeah, and $96,000. After this commercial break, we'll take questions and comments from our audience. Stick with us. You're doing great. Excellent. Channel 3, Mark Morris. Hey, Mark. It's Rick over at Free Channel. Hey, Rick. How the hell have you been? What can I do you for? Yeah, some storm we're having, huh? Yeah, real nor'easter. It's pretty bad out there. Any idea how those people up on that billboard are doing? Haven't given it much thought. What do you ask? The winds are beginning to turn against Lehigh Valley radio station WTYT 960. Now that winter is upon us, it doesn't seem like the station has a plan for the contestants' welfare in the billboard sitting contest. We asked station owner Casey Lindyweiler of his intentions. Mr. Lindyweiler, what are your plans for the billboard contest this winter? Uh, just that we continue to be as successful as we've been so far. And what will you provide the contestants in sub-freezing weather? Well, unfortunately, only what the city will allow us, which is nothing. So, thanks for coming. Mr. Litwine.
you thinking? They completely butchered what I was saying. It made us look really, really bad. Like you don't care about I me. Mean, you know that's not true. The lame duck mayor will do nothing. City council will do nothing. What more can the community do to try and end the billboard sitting contest? Wait, wait, wait. The billboard sit. Stop the insanity. Where's the humanity? Wait, wait, wait. The billboard sit. Protesters are picketing at the foot of the billboard and outside the WTYT 960 radio station, protesting the station's treatment of their billboard sitters. I told you the press are provocateurs. English, please. Liars. This is totally out of control. We just have to go on like it's business as usual. <sighs> Do what we've always done, just ride it and spin it. The truth will work its way out. Yeah, but how much damage control can we do? The sponsors are going to start pulling their ads immediately. Already started. <sighs> when will it end? People are becoming outraged that the WTYT billboard contest has been allowed to continue. Well, obviously, those people up there don't have any common sense. They are determined, aren't they? The station are going to be here or something. Are these contestants that destitute that they need to live on a billboard in the middle of winter? Or are they just starved for attention like the man hosting the contest, Casey Lindyweiler? How low can he go? Is he desperate? Does he have a god complex? Or is he an attention starved businessman exploiting others for his personal gain? Shame on you, Mr. Liddy Weiler. Shame on you. How do you feel about shutting down this billboard sitting contest? There's nothing I can do. They're on private property. Property owners have rights. Uh, the next administration will have to do as they see fit. above this, people. It's the freaking holidays. Don't let WTYT bring the community down. Take it easy tomorrow. Just step away from the ledge. Just step away. People can be so cruel. They're up there under their own volition. Billboard and outside the WTYT 960 radio station protesting the station's treatment of their billboard sitters. Station owner Casey Lindy Weiler isn't providing his contestants any relief. Despite the freezing temperatures, people are becoming outraged that the contest has been allowed to be Casey Lindeweiler. Yep, yep, that's me. How would you do that to those people? Huh? You can't even live with yourself. The contestants are free to leave at any moment, okay? I'm not forcing them to stay there. You're an asshole. Yeah, and you believe everything that you see, don't you? I just got a call asking if you wanted to be on Wake Up America. Wake Up America? Yeah. Why? They want to interview you about the contest. Look, you need to clear the air. Remember, you're doing a good thing. Just make people believe that. Uh, all right. Well, what time do they want me there? Uh, they want you there at 1. That's okay? Yeah, yeah, uh, just text me the address, uh, I'll be there. All right. Thanks, Henry.
welcome back to Wake Up America. We've been joined today by Casey Lindyweiler. He's the creator of the WTYT Billboard Sitting Contest. We've got a live studio audience here, and they've got some questions. Sir? How much money did you make exploiting these people? What do you have to say about that, Casey? I mean, with all due respect, sir, I don't ask you your income. What? Why should I tell you mine? Yeah, but we've got your ad rates right here. And you said that this contest has been going on for, what, four months now? Yeah. Okay, so let's take your lowest ad rate per week, multiply it by 16, and you've got, what, a million dollars? That's not true. What about the FCC? Are you worried about the fines they may bring down on you for double dipping, you know, charging double for your ad space? Wait, what are you talking about? That's not true at all. That's what our sources have told us. Why are you trying to make me look like I'm the bad guy? I... You know why? Because a good guy wouldn't be taking advantage of people like this. You know, all around the world there are contests that are driving up ratings. It's a pretty common practice. Yeah. Nothing like this. Well, maybe that's because it's so original. You have no idea what I had to risk to try to save this station. You know, I wish you were asking me questions like that. I mean, we're still, we're still drowning in debt. Yeah, like most Americans, but they're not taking advantage of people to pay off their debts. Don't you think it's time to end this contest? Quit pretending to be something that you're not. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself! End this contest. End this contest. You should give them both the money contest. and a home. Yeah. End this contest. End the 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 contest. Do you have a response to this? I was just trying to do something good for the community. We need to take a break. We'll be back. Mr. Linda, are you okay? Casey? Mr. Mr. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Wait, wait, Mr. Lindweller. Henry. Yeah. You set me up, didn't you? What? You set me up. What are you talking about? I just went on national television and got destroyed. So what did you say? I really don't know what you're talking about right now. Were you not watching? What, what are you doing? Why are advertisers calling asking to see the traffic reports? Because somebody in our office told them that we're double booking our ads. Well, are we double booking? No! Then where are the receipts? I don't know. Where are the receipts? You I mean, tell me. I don't know. Where are the receipts, Jezebel? What's going on? You need to watch your tone. Get out of here! Casey. Get out of my face! Really? Yes! Oh, your dad would be so proud of you. So proud, Go sonny home. boy. Go home. I'm done. I quit. Casey, what are you doing? Who's going to cover for her? I will cover for her. You can cover for Casey, her. Casey, have you lost your mind? I, no. You, you think people it? listen hey, for her? Jess. What? Just go home, dude. I just what? get, uh, no, Excuse just me. Can you do your job, maybe? Why are you talking to me like that? Just get out of here. All right? Get out of here? Yes. Casey. Go home. What, are you going to, like, fire me? Yes, I'm going to fire you, Ronnie. Go, go play with your computer or right, whatever. Right, right, right. You know what? This guy's a jackass, and if you stand next to him, then, then good luck with that. You're a jackass. They're the reason we have listeners. They've been here way longer. They're than the here. reason? Yes. Are you kidding me? No. This radio station was dead before I came here. The only reason anything happened is because I started a billboard contest to save the radio station. Do you remember when we were trying to save the radio station? What are you doing? I'm leaving. Oh. This is all about you. Good. Go. I don't need you. Get out of here. I believed in you.
Why did you leave me with such a mess? What's wrong with you? Mr. Lindeweiler will be reading a statement. Any other questions, please submit them to my office. Casey. On day 103, I'm here to announce the end of the billboard contest. I'm very proud of our contestants for lasting as long as they did. And I want to take the time to thank our advertisers and sponsors. The contestants will be receiving mobile homes and splitting $96,000. Casey, Casey, why not just give them both $96,000? Because that's all we have. I really did try to help this community and save my father's station, but I guess I failed. Um, thanks to everybody who supported us and Thank you all for coming. Wait, Casey. Wait, Casey. No more questions. Any other questions should be directed to my office. Come on, Casey. Casey. On. Just Casey. Casey. Uh, what's your name? Adriana. Adriana. Cool. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, can I ask you a couple questions about your book? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So it ends with, where are they now? Do you have any regrets as to how the contest ended? And all the contestants are better off now than they were before, so... Are you? Um, I wish I, I handled myself uh, in a different way, but, but you know, you, you live and learn, so. But I tried. Didn't really have business running a radio station to begin with, um, and I failed, so now I'm trying to do something else. To some, it looks like you're still trying to profit off the contest. I don't really care what other people think. <laughs> 